So guys, this is our 14th video of Tony Mafood Inspire series. In this video, we're gonna edit just like Tony Mafood, right? Before getting to the video, guys, one thing you really need to understand that is outfit really plays a very, very important role in editing process and in the photo. If you will notice, then Tony Mafood generally uses, you know, moody dark black color outfits with kind of unique, you know, jackets and old stuff. So you also, if you want to click your photos like just like him, then you really have to, you know, wear such kind of outfit in your photos, right? So let's just start our editing process. So first of all, we're gonna select the photo with the help of quick selection tool. You know, click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make the photo or the subject were selected, right? You can also use the pen tool to select precisely whole subject or the model, right? Now we have already learned that if you want to select the hairs then what else you gonna do just right click on it and select select and mask option and just roll on the edges of the hairs of the model so it will automatically select the hairs right and detect the edge and it will make a selection now just hit ok and you are done now if you want to make a duplication of this selection then all you need to do is just right click on it and select layer copy option or you can directly press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication of the selection right so as you can see we have made now first of all all we're gonna do is let's crop the photo before cropping the photo we're gonna add a background so just go to the file click on open and we're gonna add this background to the photograph let's try just drag it and drop over here and what else we're gonna do is as you can see guys this is this is backlight or the sunset effect is really making your photo to stand out so what we're gonna do is I want this, you know, backlight to be placed only on this portion. What I, so I'm gonna just go to the edit, select the free transform, and I'll just increase the size of the whole image because I just want that on the, this area, right? So as you can see, this would pretty looks perfect, I guess. This will look really amazing. So I'm gonna keep this somewhere over here. This would be perfect, I guess. Alright. Whenever you are satisfied with the transformation, you can just place this place and just keep OK. Now this one is looking kind of perfect so the so next thing we, I'm gonna do is crop the photo for our Instagram so that is our 8 is to 10 ratio so I'm gonna just crop it so let's just select the crop tool and just make sure to select the very precisely the edges all right So let me just check it out all right this one is looking kind of perfect so you can just increase the size of the whole image somewhere over here and this seems to be very perfect I guess all right as you can see the background already contains the green so I'm just want, I just want the green to be affected on this photo or down this model image so what else I'm gonna do I'm gonna do is just uh, before doing so I'll just make you know more darkness of this image so just go to the filter select the camera filter and I'm gonna just add a kind of contrast to the photograph to give the deafness as you can see this is really bringing an amazing effect to the photo I'm gonna just reduce a highlights a bit and I'm gonna just reduce some shadows and a little bit of you know whiteness from the face I'll just decrease because it is actually over exposed if the photo was and just hit ok and you can see we are almost done let's add a bit of clarity and just hit ok so as you can see this one is literally looking so perfect I'm gonna go to that uh, you know uh, level uh, sorry that uh, background level press ctrl l from the keyboard and we can just add a bit of darkness in the levels on the background so that it may merge with the background and it may look more creative so as you can see this one is looking kind of cool 
so I'm just hit OK and the next thing we are gonna do is adding a light or the backlight on the photo before doing so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna add a dodge and buns let's duplicate the photo and let's add a, let's name it as a dodge change the blending mode to screen just right click on it select blending options press alt key and just move the slider from left to right until you get a perfect gradiented look all right you can just totally play with this slider and you can just see whatever is looking perfect for your photo again just duplicate the photo by pressing ctrl j or command j now let's name it as a burn change the blending mode to multiply just right click on it and select blending options press alt key from the keyboard and just move the slider from right to left until you are satisfied with the color on the face alright as you can see we are getting a perfect you know skin tone or kind of what we say that burning effect on the skin which is really looking very very amazing here's the before and here's the after now let's just make a group of both the layers by pressing ctrl or command g add a layer mask on it select the image go to the apply image now here we're gonna select the layer one so just go to the layers and select layer one and just hit ok so as you can see this one is looking kind of very amazing all right now here we will do one more process of dodging and burning so let's just add a layer uh, create a new layer select the marquee tool and fill it with the 50 percent gray change the blending mode to overlay press ctrl d to deselect now we're gonna just select the dot or uh, sorry bone tool and make a exposure to around seven or eight percent would be pretty perfect and then just play you know just move in the direction where you want to create that dodge effect so i just want it over here make sure you have selected the soft round brush right now i'm gonna just remove the blemishes a little bit of with the help of this spot removal brush or else you can also use the mixture brush make the wet to 30 load 30 18 everything everything should be below the 25 or around 30 all right now i'm gonna just smoothen the skin a bit this will just give an enhance to the photo and it will just stand out right so i think we have almost done our process let's just again do some more blemish removing process all right this one is actually i guess done let's remove one more so like this area just drag and drop i think this is in this you know this dodge and burn so I don't think it will be removed I guess right that we will do it later on so as if now as we can see this one is looking kind of perfect now we're gonna add some more dodge effect on this area select the exposure to around this select the mixture brush and we're gonna just remove this from the photo because we want a harsh and perfect kind of you know skin or texture over here so as you can see this one is looking kind of very amazing i guess right we have created a perfect kind of chin So as you can see this one is looking kind of very amazing we're gonna add some more dodge effect to the photo so let's just select this area just add a bit of dodge effect on the near eyes and also over this area so 
so as you can see this one is looking very amazing I guess you can add a bit of dots on the top of the head region so as you can see this one is seems to be looking perfect let's increase the exposure and we're gonna add some more a bit over here so this one is also looking very amazing I guess right let's decrease some exposure a bit to around 5 and add a bit of over here so this one is looking kind of very amazing guys so now let's just reduce the opacity of this exposure or let's just select the eraser tool and select let me reduce or delete some of the area now let's decrease the opacity to 12 or 10 percent this is totally up to you guys I'm gonna just erase it from this area all right now this one is looking kind of cool right now we're gonna do the same process on the background also if it is needed otherwise just keep it as it is and also we're gonna add a burn on the hairs so let's just select the hairs select the burn tool make the exposure right now I'm gonna just place this somewhere over here Let's add some blackness on the hairs of the model. Alright, now guys this one is looking kind of very amazing. So the next thing we're gonna do is, let's just add a black and white effect. So what else we're gonna do is just go to the hue and saturation. Go to the green, just remove it to zero the saturation go to cyan select the view or saturation to zero select the blue and saturation to zero all right so this one this one is looking kind of very cool you can just leave the magenta as it is all right so we have created this perfect black and gold effect so next thing we're gonna do is first of all if you want to still make some adjustment you can just do it but I guess this one is looking pretty perfect alright you can still decrease some opacity from the face alright so now just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge before doing the merging process we're gonna add some more you know lights to the photo so what else we're gonna do is go to the file click on open and let's add this just drag it and drop over here go to the press ctrl t change the blending mode to screen and i'm gonna just place this over here all right now this one is also looking very very cool and amazing guys let's place this over here select the eraser tool and I'm gonna just erase the unwanted this harsh line with the help of eraser make the opacity to 100% and you are done now again let's just create a new layer select the brush tool that is normal brush tool and select the pick color from here to around creamy color would be pretty perfect I guess right now just give a one stroke of that color alright now just change the blending mode to screen press ctrl T from the keyboard and I'm gonna just place this over here to get that perfect you know that uh, 
backlight effect to the photo which would be pretty perfect I guess and I'm gonna just press ctrl J from the keyboard and just move it on the top of whole image press ctrl T and reduce the size of this particles or this what is it reduce the opacity alright so this one is also looking very amazing this in a backlight kind of effect which is affecting on the hairs let's increase the saturation a bit or the opacity alright so guys as you can see this one is looking pretty perfect so the next thing we gonna uh, do is first of all we will just merge all the layers this only the model a layer we gonna merge right now we gonna add a grain to this particular photo so go to the filter select the camera filter and we gonna add a grain right so go to the FX tab and we gonna add the grain to around 40% would be pretty perfect I guess yes 35 would be pretty perfect and just hit ok now you can see the grain is also present here and also over here so this one is looking for a perfect kind of theme alright now just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers again let's just crop the photo once again go to the filter select the camera filter and I'm gonna go to the calibration and just go to the blue primary color and I'm gonna just make the you know, color of this go, go to the HSL tab select the orange tone and just make a kind of perfect skin tone select the red color and just make a bit of now go to the saturation and reduce a bit of saturation from the face so this one is looking kind of very creative and cool right now we're gonna add a bit of contrast to the photo increase the highlights just a bit now we're gonna just reduce some shadows increase the whiteness if it is needed a bit would be pretty perfect or plus one or plus three all right now let's reduce some blackness from the photo bit would be pretty perfect now add a texture to the photo so let's add the texture to around 20 would be pretty perfect i guess right now let's let's add a bit of sharpness and finally we gonna go, go to the split toning and select the shadow that is 209 add a bit of you know saturation from here so this one is looking kind of very creative and amazing tone you can also play with it around You can add a highlight if you really want to add. Highlights would be around, you know, skin tone or the yellowish kind of effect would be perfect, I guess. Let's add a highlight to plus six. So this one is looking kind of very, very amazing, and we're gonna add a bit of matteness to the photo. So let's just add a bow from here, one point, and one click point over here, and one point over here. And finally we have edited the process or edited the photo just like Tony Mafu then guys it is really looking very very amazing guys. So as you can see the before and after here was the before and here is the after. A huge difference can be seen in the photo and really guys this one is looking so cool. So guys I hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make cool videos and presets like this for you guys for free. And if you still not subscribe to our channel then kindly do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified 
of our videos and presets. Also visit our website that is www.ashwillcreations.com. From there you can just download all the stuff just for free. And just guys wait for two or three days, site would be live on internet. And also guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram, just type Ashwill Creations. So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video. Till then guys be creative and be awesome.